strategy is like this. First, we sort n minus one elements, all right? And what we want to do is um, we have one item left and insert the remaining element into the sorted list. Because when these items are sorted, like n minus one elements are sorted, it is easy to find the place where to put or where to insert the last item, right? So this is what I told you. It is easy to insert a new element into a sorted list. So this is um, the illustration. The first item is already sorted. And with these two items, we compare where to put this item, new item, and it should go to the front. And these two items are sorted. And after this, we find where to put this new item. So, and we go on and on like this. Because this one is the smallest, it has to go to the front. And when we reach here, the item just stays there. And we came up to this item, it has to go here. So it has to go to the second point like this. So actually this is an in-place implementation of insertion sort, all right? Uh, we are going to have a look at um, two versions of insertion sort. The first one is just uh, making new array. And the second version is in-place operation, all right? Okay, let's implement this together. So what we are going to do is, um, firstly, we are going to implement recursive implementation. So insertion sort also receives a list of items. And as before, because it is going to be recursive, we need to have a base case. And the length of this list is smaller than one. We just return this list as it is. And what we are going to do is insertion sort. Now we are going to insertion sort on this list. This is all the items. except A and N, All right? So what we are going to do next is sorted linear search, what we've done in the last class. And we are going to insert this value into this list and we return this new list, all right? And what was sorted linear search? We iterate through the items inside this list. And if AI is larger than X, we return I. Otherwise, we return length A, all right? So this is to find the position where to put this item inside this list, all right? So we compare all the items inside this new sorted list and find the position where to put the last item, all right? And then insert this last item inside this list, all right? At this position. So this is our insertion sort. Um, here is our first uh, PPP exercise. Uh, I want you to implement an in-place insertion sort, right? Um, take some time and please implement this function. 